Hey, what is going on guys? Spike Beat here bringing you a little bit more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. In the background is, this is from a long time ago. This is from when I was getting ARs, Diamond. I think this is like a 50 kill gameplay. Um, but that's really, that's more of just in the background. A little bit about kind of the state I'm in right now. It's like midnight or something. I have to leave for school in like seven hours, but... I was thinking about a topic for a commentary and I really just I had this moment of clarity of kind of my best way I think of explaining what it is that I want to talk about and I figured if I wait till tomorrow to do it on a fresh mind it's not going to do me any good that I'm really just going to have forgotten all of the points that I feel like are the best for this commentary so I'm doing this at super tired if that's something that ends up bothering you in the commentary let me know in the comments below and i'll make sure it never happens again but i think that i'm actually very aware of what it is that i need to talk about on this and that is the psychology behind the supply drops why treyarch has decided to do what i personally believe to be a mistake and i think i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start with that i personally think that the supply drops and putting weapons in the supply drops is a huge mistake that can only hurt Call of Duty. I don't think Call of Duty making a bad game of Call of Duty making too many games of Call of Duty really doing anything game related is what's ever going to be the COD killer how everyone's been for years just wanting something to kill COD which that more comes down to the psychology that we don't like heroes who are just almighty. We don't like people who are all powerful. We like challenge, we like strife, we like to see someone come and try to take the power from the king or the hero. That's why your superheroes are never just heroes. You always have to have the villains, the arch enemies. You can't have flash without zoom or reverse flash. You can't have the arrow without Malcolm Merlin without the League of Assassins with all that stuff. You can't have Superman without Lex Luthor. We like to have strife. We like that just in everything we do. That's why you always have rivals. Ford and Chevy aren't really huge rivals, but we make them out to be because we want that fight. We want there to be some kind of strife. And I don't think that it's any... No game, I think, could compete with Call of Duty because I feel like Call of Duty... They got lucky. They found just that magical formula. And they made it happen in a way that none of the other games can replicate. You don't see as much as I want Star Wars Battlefront to be something better than Call of Duty. It's not. It's fun. It's different. But it's not the same. So, I don't think... And you're not going to... I don't think you're going to see any game come along that's going to kill COD that way. I think what's going to kill Call of Duty is the supply drops because you're going to alienate a lot of customers because they don't like what's going to happen with this game and kind of getting into the supply drops themselves of the fact that a lot of people are looking at it as something that is oh, the more supply drops you open, the better chance you have of getting these rewards of getting these new weapons of getting the cool knife free skins but in actuality that's completely false and what it is, is in conditioning of trying to get someone to do something teaching them to respond a certain way some of the most famous of these would be pavlov with pavlov's dog of ringing the bell before you feed a dog that if you eventually the dog is going to start to salivate just to the bell itself because it expects the food to come after that. There's a bunch of other psychologists, but that's really the biggest one. And in conditioning, there's four methods of reinforcement, four methods of reward, basically. You have basically a ratio interval of ran or uh, in a given amount of time. Uh, tries so say with supply drops a ratio interval would be okay for every 20 supply drops you open 
you are going to get something cool. You're going to get a epic or something. That's not how the supply drops work. There's ratio interval, which would be, okay, every 30 minutes, you're going to get a rare, which that's not how it works. There could be a variable interval, which is basically that every 20 minutes, you're going to get a reward. That's not how supply drops work. How they work is it is a variable uh, ratio. It means that some random amount of tries at some random pull, some random selection of, yeah, I want to spend those crypto keys or those COD points, that you will get rewarded. And this is done by, it's the same thing that a casino does, of that there's an average. But the key is, is that you don't know that average. Like a casino, most casinos make about four times the amount of money that they end up giving in payouts. <laughs> so this should tell you that it's not very likely that you're going to get anything. This is, without a doubt, the worst method for getting <laughs> consistent results, but it gets the most use because you always have that in the back of your mind of, oh, this could be the one. This is why you see people at casinos a thousand dollars down the drain i gotta pull it one more time oh one more time and it's the same thing with supply drops you're seeing the same issue arising and i personally think this is going to be something that is going to end up killing call of duty at some point now i think it's going to be two or three more games before you really see a huge uh, uproar against it but kind of the best way of, I could think of looking at it was of another term in psychology in conditioning is shaping and basically what that is is when you have something really difficult some very challenging task that you don't just jump right into the task you have to kind of lead the subject into doing that task on their own and reward them all the way I feel like what happened with Call of Duty was Advanced Warfare tried to jump straight to the end result. They just wanted to, okay, supply drops, weapon variants, all that stuff. Let's throw it in right now. And when the community uproared about it, then Treyarch came out, no, 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 it's going to be cosmetic only in the supply drops. And they stuck with it for a while, but then kind of this pattern showed up of people are willing to buy it people are willing to spend the money so okay let's add a couple weapons okay they're still buying it and you're going to see it's going to keep going until we're right back at advanced warfare except for the shaping is going to make it to where most people are probably going to be just fine with it now kind of those of you who are probably going what the heck is this guy talking about he must be crazy I'll give you like a real life example so when you're out you and your girlfriend have a great date you guys had a lot of fun you get home you don't just spring into the weird new thing you want to try no you well you can but your answer is probably going to be no and you're going to get yelled at and all this stuff of very adamantly against it well Take it slower now kind of backtrack go back to what you used to do now kind of start to edge in the new stuff a little bit and the more you slightly edge towards that final result that you originally started with that tr you had sledgehammer games come and do with the weapon variants that same really weird thing that you wanted to try that she said no to well all of a sudden now She's totally okay with it because it's taken so long to get to that endpoint that you've shaped her reaction to the question itself. And this is, if you don't believe me, try the example I just gave you. And I guarantee that it, it will work 100% more than just trying to jump straight to the end result unless you just get lucky and 
then that's basically your variable ratio of at some random point you're going to get lucky but the odds are that's not going to happen but this is one of those things that call of duty can't sustain for very long because you see casinos end up they are lasting because you're getting a payout of money you're getting a reward that is in our society very uh you can be very proud of whereas the reward in the call of duty sense here our society is not nearly as powerful as the society of people that we live with in the world around us the call of duty society here on youtube in the game is not nearly as powerful our love for having approval from the game is not as great as from the outside so i don't think call of duty can sustain this plus if you look at other models other games that you kind of have this platform of pay to win which that's where it's going it is going there because that's what advanced warfare was they're just hiding behind the fact that it's totally that it's oh you have a chance at it when in actuality it's very luck based it's very much randomly selected and the fact that no matter how many times you could go in you could spend a thousand dollars on the supply drops you could spend exactly one thousand dollars and get nothing you could get absolutely nothing when someone like me who's not going to spend the money on supply drops goes in and spends crypto keys on one supply drop and gets three of the new weapons gets all three the crossbow the pistol and the rifle do i deserve that any more than you no and that's the problem that quality is going to get into is the fact that like for me i paid 80 dollars for the hardened edition i paid 50 dollars for the season pass i'm not gonna spend more money to get the complete game and that's something that they're gonna have to figure out and especially what i find really sad is when you have call of duty ghost that so far has done more things right when it comes to dlc than the last two call of duties because ghost came out with the dlc it was part of the season pass that you got these new weapons Advanced Warfare and so far Black Ops 3 have made all of the weapons part of supply drops and this is just something that you're going to see it it's going to kill the game because if you look at other games like this CSGO, well it's a big game, does it have nearly as, I don't know for sure correct me in the comments below but it doesn't have nearly as many players as Call of Duty used to and I think it can only get worse from here let me know your opinions down in the comment section below. Like the video if you agreed with me. And subscribe for more. Check out the channel. Let me know what you think on some of the other videos. Thanks for watching, guys.